Brent to the left. Connor, what does it feel like to have a home run like that? You know, I'd, I'd be lying to you if I said I had words to describe that moment. Um, absolutely incredible, I guess, is the best I can do. Um, you know, as, as a kid and as a player at this level, you, you look forward to just getting a hit in the postseason just to help your team. Um, <laughs> wow. I mean, it, uh, it's, I'm a lucky guy. And down here in front. To the right, just Connor, could you talk a bit about your personal journey to get to this point tonight? Sure. Um, you know, as some of you guys may know, um, I was drafted by this club and uh, got traded in, in uh, 2013. Um, you know, I think mostly to, to try to figure things out kind of on my own. You know, I was, I was a little bit immature, I guess, as a younger, younger, younger guy. Um, you know, had a had a great time playing in Chicago and, and a little bit in Anaheim. And, um, you know, at, at the end of last year, um, you know, I I, I kind of took baseball for granted, I guess you could say a little bit. Um, I think, you know, this time this time last year, you know, I was home um, and I, I did some some soul searching, I guess you could say, and and uh, realized that, uh, you know, I had kind of made baseball the number one thing in my life, and uh, it's not anymore. And uh, I'm proud of that. And uh, you know, leading up to this point, you know, I, I'd played some during the year. You know, I wasn't an everyday guy, and and that wasn't my role. And and I'm I'm just as happy to do that. You know, um, to to be able to to come in a situation like this um, and, and just barrel the ball is is you know. Uh, yeah, it went out of the park, but to be able to just come in and have your team behind you and have staff believe in you when somebody goes down, um, you know, I, I can't thank this organization enough because there's there's plenty of other guys that can go out there and, and, and play when we have a guy down. Um, and, and the reality is they, they chose me and they gave me the opportunity and, and uh, you know, I'll be forever grateful for that because, you know, it, obviously it, it worked out, but just to be able to play in a postseason game is something that uh, you know you'll you'll never forget as a player. <clears throat> and just to the left, just being back with the, with the Giants, is there something about that clubhouse or that culture that kind of brings out you know the best in in players and maybe allows them to elevate for games like this? Well, I think you know a lot of the way this team is built. Um, you know, obviously the staff has done an incredible job of bringing good hard-nosed players that play hard and do things the right way and uh, you know it's it's evident to me um, just talking to all these guys it, it's amazing how so many of these guys have the same mentality you know and, and uh, I mean that that's that's bottom line is that's that starts with the front office and bringing the right group of guys in here and uh, you know we went through such a rough time in the last month and yes we didn't win the division but you know, I don't think there's a guy in there that doesn't believe in each other, you know, and it's, um, <clears throat> you know, what a great opportunity to be a part of this, you know, and, and I'm, I'm so thankful that I was able to come back here and that they wanted me here, so. And to the right, just. Connor. Yeah. When did you find out and how did you find out that you would be in there tonight? <clears throat> well, um, I saw the lineup yesterday. I mean, obviously, um, any decision made um, is based around Nunez being healthy, um, which he hasn't been able to play so far. So, you know what? Like I said, I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to play every day that they put me in there. You know, I don't I don't question the lineup. I don't question Boach. Um, he's won a lot of games for a reason, and uh, for whatever reason, he has a knack for finding, you know, the right guy in the right situation, and uh, you know it's. It's a it's a special team and and guys never quit you know and that's that's what's so fun to play in this organization because there are no there's nobody out there that you know is is timid I mean it's hey you, you go out there and you play you know and and uh, um, you know it's what an unbelievable experience for for Madison for Buster catching I mean just wow I mean 
you know, there's there's almost times when you're out there when you're when you're you feel like a spectator. You know what I mean? When Madison's pitching, it's just like I mean, I was sitting out there tonight thinking, this this guy is getting the best hitters out in the world continually, and he's done it every time he's pitched in this kind of scene, and it's it's unbelievable. There you are. <laughs> and just to the left. Hey Connor, uh, two things. First, uh, if you could walk us through the at bat against Familia, what you were seeing, what you were thinking, uh, <clears throat> what you ultimately got, how it felt leaving the bat. And second, uh, you said that you, baseball was no longer your first priority. I'm curious, what sort of things are your first priority now? Sure. Um, you know, first first of all, in the at bat, um, I was pretty excited that Syndergaard wasn't in there. You know, that's 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 let's get that you know let's get that out there first. Um, you know, it's, he has some of the best stuff I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, as far as the, the the home run, you know what, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't tell you where the pitch was at right now. I have no idea where it was. I just know that it was it was up enough to swing at. And so, you know, I think you got to trust in what you're doing behind the scenes, you know, as far as cage work and, and um, getting ready to take an at-bat um, it's it's just you, you get in there and it's in a situation like this. It's pretty much just hey, I I hope what I did works. You know what I mean? It, it's one of those deals. So, um, you know, I, I couldn't tell you why it happened or how it happened, but it happened. So, um, as far as your other question goes, um, you know, I, I think I just got to a point last year where. You know, I, I let the happiness of my life and the happiness of relationships with people I care about. That was all based on what I did in the game. And uh, when I went home last year in September, I thought about that. I said, you know what? There's absolutely no reason to, you know, to, to, to let my happiness depend on whether I get a hit or not, you know? So I think being able to go out there and, and approach this just like you guys do with your jobs, you know, you, you do your best, you put in your preparation, and then uh, after that, it's, you know what, well, you got to be okay with whatever you write, you know, just like we have to be okay with whatever comes out in the game. And, and I think that that helps take pressure off yourself when you're playing too. So, I, I mean, I think that, that definitely helps me. So.